How's it going everyone? Wild Dang here and welcome to a brand new Destiny video. In this video I will be talking to you about the Irene Double R4 Gunsmith Sniper Rifle. There has been mixed opinions on this weapon and that is mainly due to Bungie adding luck in the chamber to the damn thing. It's a high impact sniper so that means that when luck in the chamber procs it will one shot kill people with a body shot. Now in year one we had to deal with final rounders, they finally got rid of that and now they introduced this freaking weapon. I do not condone this and it frustrates the hell out of me when people run around with it body shotting everyone they see. It's just like having final rounders back in the damn game. The gunsmith has now sold the luck in the chamber sniper twice meaning more people have unfortunately got their grubby little mitts on it. If you want to be a really good sniper just get one that does not have that perk on it and aim for their head. If that's all you have to do is just aim for the head. It's, it does require skill but it's a lot better than knowing that you're just body shotting people and just laughing about it because it's not skillful and the person on the other end just thinks you're a rubbish player because you have to have these exploits to get anywhere in the game. Anyway, enough of me moaning about that. The sniper itself is nice and it has completely different design to what we are used to in year one. It looks a lot more futuristic. The sniper is also a high impact sniper, meaning that you can res snipe in any 3v3 playlist. I personally don't like many of the scopes that come with this sniper. However, I have found one with a sight that is similar to the short gaze that I'm used to. You may also see me using a scope that closely resembles a red dot sight on like a primary weapon, kind of like an auto rifle or a scout rifle. It's very similar to that, but I, I, I quickly changed that because I couldn't get used to it. But the site that I'm talking about is called the Yapaki SS2, I think. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's got standard zoom, lightweight sniper sight, improves weapon handling. So that is the one that I'm running with at the moment. It's got a nice little red dot sight so you can actually aim pretty well with it. It's not like a giant circle or anything silly like that. When using this in the crucible I felt like I've missed a lot of shots or it's looked like I've gotten a headshot but they didn't count for some strange reason. It could have been down to lag or it could have been down to the fact that this sniper may have very low aim assist. I'm not entirely sure what was happening there but it did definitely look like I hit the head of people and it just didn't, didn't work. I mean the sniper's got a decent range on it so it can't be that and I was playing on quite small maps. For someone who is used to using the traditional scopes such as the short gaze and ambush, it may take some time to get used to this sniper with its scopes because obviously all these scopes are completely different to what we're used to. Obviously back in year one we had short gaze and ambush being the two popular ones and then you had your other scopes that are pretty decent too but I could never get used to. But if you're used to those year one scopes try th try out the Yapaki Yipaki or Yapaki SS2, I don't know how you pronounce it. They have so many strange names in this. My Irene Sniper has got a snapshot on it, so I do aim a lot quicker, but it just still feels really slow, even though it's got a snapshot on it. I don't I don't know. It's I'm not too sure on this sniper. Maybe I just need to use it more often, but I do feel like I would definitely prefer to use my steel piercer and thousand yard stare. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. And are looking for something different, then give this pulse rifle a try. The Zoros is obviously a lot rarer, for the main reason being that you can't just go buy one. You have to wait for a gunsmith package or to order it when it is available. The Zoros PDX45 comes with a variety of scopes. My favourite has to be the 